Yo, what's awesome, guys? Back in another video. So, look, we all know on this live tube channel, I set a target of 10k by the start of August. As of recording, we're near enough 6.5 thousand, which is really good. We're still on target to hit this target, but all you need to do before anything is subscribe right away. As I always do on this channel, I always do the shouts occasionally on every other video, where essentially all you need to do to be in a chance of getting shouted out is literally be active on the channel, whether it be liking, comment, subscribing, and today's shout out goes to someone called. Dear Rex, thank you so much for supporting the channel, muchly appreciated. So every day now there's more people coming out, giving their James Charles experience, a lot more things getting exposed by him, which we're going to talk about, and also a lot more makeup artists are getting involved with the whole situation, which we're going to get onto later in the video. So yesterday, I made a video looking at different YouTubers reactions to James Charles' apology, and the whole situation itself, and their thoughts on it. If for some odd reason you missed that video, here's a snippet of it now. Last night, the cat molester that is Shane Dawson put on his Instagram Instagram story, drama aside, I have something to say. I've been using Halo Beauty for one month and two weeks and it's really helped my skin and hair. My red patchy face has always been an insecurity of mine and I can genuinely say Glam Life Guru's vitamins really worked for me. Thank you Tati for putting your heart and soul into this product and thank you for making me feel better about my face. Love you. To which he then shows photos of clear improvements. And that's what you call a true friend, not a little rat, that will go behind your back and promote a competitor's product. So PewDiePie, a couple of days ago, he released a video on the whole situation where his video was titled James Charles is cancelled and he received so much backlash for this. A, because he'd barely done any research and B, he tried to claim that Tarty would be manipulative throughout the whole entire video. It just feels weird to me how everyone absolutely love her. Look how many people like this video. It feels very manipulative. She's putting herself on a pedestal while she clearly was completely fine not outing this behavior about James Charles, essentially abusing people's sexuality. And as long as James Charles would have instead promoted her vitamins, she would have been fine with it. She would not have made this video. She would have been good boy James Charles. Thank you very much. All these issues arise just because it was an opportunity for her to do that. And I do have a big problem with that. It's clear PewDiePie hardly done any research to do this whole situation. Tati since day one has literally bent over backwards for this guy, giving him support when she doesn't even need to, promoting all this new Morphe stuff, and all he's done is disrespect her and backstab her on multiple different occasions where it's been proven to the tipping point where she wanted to release a video. And when she initially made the Bi Sister video, she was literally only sitting on 6 million subs, I say only, but James Charles at the time was on 16 million, and we all know how strong his fan base can be. She put her entire career on the line with that video. She could have easily been on the other side of the spectrum. She could have been the one losing millions of subs, but she knew she had so much information on him that it's not bollocks. In yesterday's video, I looked at Jeffree Star's whole reaction to the James Charles situation where he put this on his Snapchat story. Oh, 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 hold up. Also, I just logged onto the internet for the first time today and I'm like, oh my God, huge. Huge congratulations to Miss Tati Westbrook for hitting 8 million subscribers on YouTube. This is just the beginning for you, baby. I miss you, I love you, and I cannot wait to see you when I'm back from Michigan. So congrats. Mwah. I love you. Life has a really funny way of doing things sometimes, you guys, doesn't it? The phoenix always rises out of the ashes. Well, it's been apparent since this, he's completely split ties with James Charles. We also know this, as he's got killer merch for Jeffree Star's company. Of course, James Charles is Sisters Apparel, and a lot of people were seeing this thing, where it was stating Sisters Apparel is unavailable due to, like, killer's merch or something around those lines, because Jeffree Star split ties with the company, and trust me, he was making so much money from James Charles' merch, and it shows how much Jeffree Star does not want to associate with James Charles anymore. Also, Jeffree Star's been seen liking loads of shady tweets towards James Charles, and it's now clear to see the entire makeup industry has all turned backs on the kid. Some tweets in particular that people realise Jeffree Star like read as follows, when at Jeffree Star speaks on how toxic a person is, I know it's real and they are not to be messed with. Another semi-viral one he likes also reads, be nice to people on your way up because you'll come across them again on your way down. 
It's clear Jeffree Star is holding no remorse. He's showing his actual hatred towards James Charles at the moment, saying how he's a threat to society, and it's clear their friendship is over. Both the Dolan twins and Emma Chamberlain's reaction to this whole James Charles tarty drama, they decided they were going to unfollow him on every social media platform. Therefore, the sister squad is 100% officially dead. No way in hell it's coming back. A makeup artist going by the name of Nikitia Dragon, she thought, you know what, I'm going to get involved in this drama, get my clout up a bit, where she tweeted out, Heard this situation, needed some clarification. My friend was in an emergency and texted me in the moment. Unfortunately, since at Dragon Beauty used all of our marketing budget on the fantasy, I connected him with Sugar Bear, nothing shady. Now, I don't know if she's joking or been sleeping under a rock. People are not hating on the fact because of James Charles promoting his Sugar Bear brand anymore. It's because Tati brought up the fact this kid is a sexual predator. The Sugar Bear brand was only a start of things to come. The messages between James Charles and Nikita Dragon read as follows. James starts off by saying, Babe, can you do me a favour and text your Sugar Bear person and ask if they have an extra artist passes for this weekend and that our story. I'm in VIP and I'm getting attacked. Need help, lol. To which Nikitty responds with, yes, of course. Two seconds. James, a sexual predator, Charles fires back with, thank you so much. To which the dragon replies, they said yes. Can I give me your number? To which James Charles then replies back with, oh my god, yes, thank you so much. OMFG. Do you know how much of a slimy characteristic that is to go behind Tarty's back? A person, a woman that supported you from literally start to finish. Let me remind you, in fact, James Charles promoted her rival brand just for some extra bucks. What a little slimy scumbag. Nikitia also attached another conversation with that tweet with this Coach Alley group chat. And the first message reads, first of all, hi, I miss you guys the most ever. To which a human replies, hi, we miss you much more to stagecoach. To which another human responds with, second of all, I got the longest, craziest text from James Charles begging me to ask if you guys could get him an artist pass because he's being attacked, lol. To which another functioning human being replies with, we miss you boo, not the same without you. To which another human says, James Charles, yes, give him my number. One reply to her tweet that literally summarises my argument read as follows. We aren't concerned with this anymore. Why would we care about the vitamin situation when he's a predator, I think by Nikitia doing this whole tweet, it's either A, to get attention, or B, she's literally been sleeping under a rock, and if so, you need to do more research, love. The T-Spill channel saw what Nikitia tweeted out about the whole situation, and they responded by putting, all right, so James just texted Nikitia asking if she'd get him an SBH sponsorship, but he told me that he was getting mobbed and Sugar Bear reached out to him, sister lied to me, where an image attached reads, so I was getting mobbed like crazy, and the Sugar Bear team heard about it, and from a few influencers that were there, and they texted me and were like, Hey James, we have an extra artist and safari pass for you and a friend if you need to go backstage. He's such a compulsive liar, literally James Charles only cares about him, his brand and his reputation, he's a little slime ball. So another makeup artist in particular was getting flooded with messages, oh what are your thoughts on James Charles drama with Tarty? He goes by the name of Bretman Rock, where he responded to the whole situation where he said this. Hi guys, okay so I just wanted to make this video because my Twitter and my DMs and my comment section is flooded with questions about what I think about the beauty industry and the drama that's going on, I'm not really going to go into details about that. Or what I think about certain individuals and the community, whatever it may be. And to answer your question, what do I think about it? I don't think about it. Period. That's, that's my answer. I don't think about it because... I'm not a part of it and even if I did have fucking opinions about it, I don't give a f my opinion about it. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. We need more people like Bretman, literally straight to the point, no bollocks whatsoever. He says it how it is, instead of all these people literally jumping on a bandwagon of talking about it, getting involved for literally no reason. Last night, Shane Dawson, he was caught in his feelings where he put in his Instagram story, feeling sad. Everything feels so dark right now. Even though I believe some people need to be humbled, I also could never enjoy watching someone go through something like this. Today, I want to focus on good stuff. I feel like I have tea poisoning from seeing all this drama. Send a nice text to a friend today. Give someone a hug. Tweet a link to your favourite music video. I don't know, something nice. 
I feel like we need that right now. Poor Shane Dawson, soon enough, he's going to have to go down to his local home in Shawa and look at the dark side of James Charles. I do respect Shane Dawson for the fact he's not jumping on, oh yeah, F James Charles, he's cancelled, no one cares about it now, his career's over, just for a few more clicks and likes on his Twitter page. But then again, with all these serious claims saying he's a sexual predator, how the hell can you sympathise or like the guy at all? Anyway guys, that's my brother's video, I hope you did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts in the comments down below what you think about this whole situation. Is he going to bounce back? Is he not? But if you did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.